Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-116, also known as The Brittle Boy. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Before I actually get into the video, I just want to say something kind of interesting that I kind of noticed lately. So, ever since I did that debut stream that ended horribly because my internet sucks, I've been, uh, using this cat avatar with the cat ears and everything. And yet, I don't really make cat noises hunts in my videos or anything. That's all. Let's get right into the actual main thing here. I, it was just a little thought. I remember SCP-116. Object Class Euclid. Special Container Procedures SCP-116 is kept in a 16 by 16 meter cell constructed of a caviar with one unmeter porous rubber padding on all surfaces. No personnel are to enter the cell without proper briefing and threat reduction measures. See Appendix 3. Well, I only have one appendix. Cells be monitored at all times by six agents. Four stationed at corner points of cell and two stationed with SCP-116. No pointed objects or intrusive testing equipment of any kind are to be placed in the possession of the agents within the cell. Outside monitoring is achieved using VVS-05. Class concealed button cameras stationed at high corners in the cell. Outside monitoring is to be carried out by a further two agents. If suspicious activity begins, Initialize our Achilles procedure triangle. All monitoring agents, internal or external, are to undergo bi monthly IQ tests as well as standard weekly psychiatric analysis. Significant drops in the IQs of agents greater than or, or equal to 5 points are to be regarded as prolonged exposure and to be treated as out. Line into standard quarantine instructions. A cat has climbed onto my bed. Description SCP 116 has the outward appearance of a Caucasian male around 9 years of age. Skin is cauterized and scarred over 98% of the body, limbs, and head. SCP-116's bone structure is drastically different from standard Homo sapien and, and, and bone layout, and all bones are dangerously brittle. The most distinguishing difference between the human body and that of SCP-116 is the non-existence of joints in the latter. SCP-116 is entirely capable of independent movement, but to do so would cause multiple shattering and breaks to all bones affected by said movement. To combat this, SCP-116 shows remarkable self-healing and over a period of minutes can completely regenerate to it, its rigid bone placement. SCP-116 has shown on some language skill acquisition, however the only language it speaks is a disrupted and broken version of English, in which every word has been replaced with an almost entirely unconnected one. Prolonged attempts to make sense of SCP-116 speech have resulted in long-term mental degradation in researchers. There seems to be no pattern to the word replacement, and attempts continue to trans translate it. Research suggests that SCP-116 may be capable of low-level telepathy, which deteriorates its victim's brain functions over a long period of time. And that's a link to a different SCP, by the way. Appendix 1. Oh, they're not a, a, a amendments or addendums. They're appendixes. That is really interesting. Sergeant Redacted. Memorandum, May 29th, unknown year. Subject. Development of suicidal tendencies by SCP-116. SCP-116 has begun to show extreme suicidal tendencies. Request modification of monitoring and container protocol to avoid undue damage to with this subject. Appendix 2 
Doctor Redacted. SCP-116 Language Notes, June 19th, Unknown Year. SCP-116's unique linguistic setup is of increasing interest to me. <laughs> what does my cat steal? Continuing research by my team and me has yielded these somewhat basic results. Attach file 116.6AAO.001 doc. No clear reasoning has been and found as to why I116 communicates in this way. Other words spoken have been made to. spoken and by it are English. The parameters under which they operate are drastically different. No attempt has yet to has yet been made to produce written language from SV116 due to bone structure anomalies. Even speaking can be an extreme challenge for 116, despite its experienced old old pain receptors. I have taken a special interest in this subject. As the way in which it reacts to normal English is remarkable. It is obvious that uh, what we say to it sounds just as, uh, as garbled to it as what it says back to us, thus to us, if that makes sense at any sense at all. In all my years at Site 19, I have never seen anything quite like it linguistically. I will continue to study and record what I find. I think I'm out of... Oh, how interesting. Lieutenant Redacted, Memorandum, June 30th, Unknown Year. It's a procedure of relating to warning new suicidal tendencies shown by SCP-116. But no solid equipment weighing more than 8 pounds may be taken into the cell. 2. All interior guards are to have canine teeth filled out until blunted and complete neatly. 3. Security level is to be raised to... RT5, full body cavity search and x-ray before entrance to cell is granted. 4. If any asphyxiation or uh, hypoxia appears to be affecting SCP-116, emergency CPR is to be administered by internal guards. Suggestion noted that SCP-116 should be connected to life support machines even when not on danger of death, to prevent unintentional termination. Appendix 4 Sergeant Redacted Memorandum July 11th, Unknown Year Cessation of Research for SCP-116 Any and all research regarding SCP-116 is to be immediately halted until further notice. Dr. Redacted, the primary researcher into SV-116's language and delayed telepathy, is removed from this site and kept in solitary confinement until all symptoms of his dementia and schizophrenia have dissipated. All personnel involved with SCP-116 are to be quarantined until further notice. Bone, all bone marrow transplants are to be performed on all agents who have been in tactile contact with SCP-116. Suggested a determination of interior guard protocol all noted. Appendix 5. Subject. Cessation of SCP-16 in project. Memorandum. March 20th, unknown year. Given the suicidal tendencies of SCP-116, its elite iterous effects on involved personnel and lack of significant useful progress in research. I propose we allow SCP-116 to self-terminate in a controlled environment. This thing has so far proven to be a fruitless waste of resources. Perhaps post-mortem examination will provide us with answers we haven't been able to obtain so far. Wow! Dang, the foundation is really good, but it being a little bit awful. Anyway, that was SCP-116. 
If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!